Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to show you how to convert from the refracting and the transfer equation onto a matrix format. Now, of course, we're going to start first with the refracting equation, and then later on, we'll show you how to do the transfer equation. Here we have the familiar refracting equation, which tells you that the index of refraction in the angle relative to the horizontal on the other side of the boundary, on the transmitted side of the ray, equals the index of refraction in the angle relative to the horizontal on the incident side minus d1 times y1, y1 being the height of the point where you transition across the boundary above the optical axis, and d1 is the power of the refracting surface defined by the difference in the index of refractions across the boundary divided by the radius of curvature of that boundary. We need a second equation. The second equation we need is this one, where the height, where you transition across the boundary, just past the boundary, equals zero plus the height of the point where you transition just before the boundary. Now you say, well, why do we even need that equation? Because that's quite obvious. Y1 is the same just before as it is just after the boundary. So why need an equation? Well, we need the equation in order to be able to set up a matrix structure. And we cannot do that with a single equation. We need a second equation to do that with. So again, we can take the two unknowns, which is the angle of the transmitter on the transmit side, plus the height as we transition, we need to be able to calculate what those values are, and that's why we need both of the equations. Now notice here, on the 1 by 2 matrix in the front here, we have the information about the ray on the transmitted side of the boundary, the index of refraction and the angle, and the height just past the boundary. And over here, the 1 by 2 matrix, we have the information about the ray just before the boundary, the index of refraction, and the angle relative to the horizontal before the boundary, and we've, we have the height of, of the entry point just before the boundary. Now we need a 2 by 2 matrix here that will allow us to represent these two equations in this matrix format. So that means, on the left side, here we have nt1, alpha t1, which is this, equals these two elements multiplied by these two elements. So this times this plus this times this gives us this. So we can see that 1 times this will give us this. So we need a 1 there. And here we need a minus d1 times this will give us that. So minus d1 will accomplish that. Again, notice this times this will give us this quantity. This times this will give us this quantity. And that together will add up to this element in this matrix. Now we need something here such that when I multiply this times this plus this times this, I end up with this. The first thing I need is a zero, which means I need a zero here because zero times this gives me zero. And then I need a one here because one times this gives me y i one, the height of the entry point just before the boundary. So now what I have here is I have a matrix format that will take this refracting equation and turn it into a format that I can work with in the matrix world. And so that's how we transition from the refracting equation to the matrix format of the refracting equation with little help of a secondary equation to make it work. And that's how that's done. 